Hey Riley. Yes, well, it's definitely an exciting day here in the low country. A lot of attention will, of course, be on the president's visit to Charleston. But just a few streets down here on Broad Street is the inauguration for the new mayor of Charleston, William Cogswell. At noon, William Cogswell and six Charleston City Council members will be officially sworn in here outside of City Hall at 80 Broad Street. Outgoing Mayor John Tecklenburg will call the meeting to order and then Cogswell will give his inauguration speech. The six City Council members will also speak as well. Today's ceremony will be about 45 minutes. A reception will follow in Washington Square beginning at 1 o'clock and both the ceremony and reception are open to the public. Now last week when President Biden's campaign announced they would be visiting Charleston on the same day as the inauguration, Cogswell gave the president an invitation to speak at his ceremony today. And even though we're told the president respectfully declined, Cogswell said it would have been a great opportunity to show the president how world class Charleston is. The president of the United States comes to town. Uh, it's incumbent on city leadership to uh, put out the welcoming mat, no matter who it is or what party they are in. Um, you know, and so that's what we've done. We've invited him to the inauguration. Uh, we haven't heard back from him if, if they plan on attending. Um, I do think it'll be a bit of a mess with regards to uh, uh, police and fire just managing that. And yeah. I will say this, I mean, the, the traffic that will result in town, I'm going to put on the president versus my inauguration uh, and the inauguration of council members. And for people planning to attend the inauguration ceremony today are encouraged to arrive about 20 to 30 minutes early because of heavy traffic and some roads being closed. Live in downtown Charleston, Sophia Ritabal, Count on Two.